Howdy YouTube viewers, welcome to the Pronghorn Tractor Works YouTube channel. This is my main winter project this year. This is a Case 1816 Uniloader skid steer. Picked this puppy up for $800. Came with the narrow bucket, the wider bucket, and over here a set of pallet forks. So that's going to be just handy as hell. Um, you can actually turn these the wheels around on these so they're dish in and put this narrow bucket on here and it'll actually fit through a standard door, so I've been told. I've also been told it's extremely squirrely. So, can't wait to try that. It currently does not run. Um, it's probably going to get repowered. It has a, they came fac uh, from the factory with a 16 horsepower Tecumseh overhead valve engine. For those of you who are familiar, Tecumseh parts are no longer available other than new old stock. So, it rolls over and it's free. I might spray some starting fluid in it, see if it'll fire, but it all, it feels pretty tired, so I suspect that, uh, it's just plain worn out. See, it doesn't take a whole lot to roll it over. At any rate, I'd like to put like a 22 or 24 horsepower V twin in there, and then I can upgrade this hydraulic pump right here to something bigger, and then I can put auxiliary hydraulics on the bucket for a grapple or post hole digger or whatever else I get a wild hair and build. Supposedly it has either a tandem pump or a drive pump or drive motor out. I'm not sure which one. I gotta get it to start and move or run first. And uh, parts for these are rather expensive, so but I can find some generic parts to retrofit it, so that's probably what I'll do. Tires surprisingly hold air. They most of them were flat, but I aired them up the other day, and so far they're all holding. This one's rather scary, but the others are okay. So this one will have to be changed for sure. But the rest will probably go for a little bit while, a little while before they. So it needs a new seat. Otherwise, in remarkably good shape. From what I can tell so far, all of the pins are really tight. Um, it's overall a pretty good machine. So far, I think I got a good deal. I guess we'll find out this winter when I really start tearing into it. But like I said, uh, it's um, it was cheap. And uh, the generic part, I can find some generic parts to swap out for those pumps and motors. So, in fact, I could get a whole uh, two new pumps for the price, for less than the price of one used hydraulic, well, new hydraulic pump um, from, well, from a uh, factory style hydraulic pump. At any rate, I'll keep you posted on this one. It's going to be a fun project, and since I only have a single car garage and I can't get the dually in to work on this winter, this is going to be the next project. Thanks for watching.